brand new YouTube channel, brand new personality. I should probably introduce myself. Uh, it always hurts, but it's also always worth it. You know, one thing about Link, he's been asleep for a hundred years, but he's still pretty fit. Give it up to the Sheik inventors on that, at least. You know, slight question. We got Swim Shorts Shulk in Super Smash Bros. We got Shirtless Sephiroth in Super Smash Bros. Why didn't we get Underwear Link? <laughs> kidding. Whatever. Why are you doing this, controller? Why are you doing this? Let's try this again. Better now? You are not better. Why are you doing this? Why? I'm really annoyed that it's doing this. I guess we're gonna have to do it this way. Uh, this video is off to a really good start. I can't even find the, uh, the, joy the thing for the Joy-Cons to go into. To hold it like this. I don't wanna hold it like a Wii boat. Where are you? Oh, right there in front of me. <sighs> Left, right, ready. Well, it's a much smaller controller, but I mean, it still works. You know something? Legs got some eyelashes. I mean, look at those things. They stick out. Looks like he's wearing mascara. Seriously, look at him. Also, really pointy for some reason. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I played this game before. I wonder if Link can die in this room. Like, is there any way to use this stuff to somehow kill Link before he even gets out onto the Great Plateau? Hmm. That was a bounce if I ever saw one. I'm like Sonic the Hedgehog over here. If I actually knew what I do, what I'm doing, I'd add in a Sonic bounce effect there. As fit as Link is, he really is not fit enough to run for more than five seconds. I mean, to be fair, neither can I. And I haven't been in a hundred years sleep. You are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. Now they're really building up Link to be the hero of this, but I'm going to stand by the opinion that Zelda is more of the hero of this story. Like, sure, Link has to go to Hyrule Castle to save her, but at the end of the day, she's the one who's been fighting against the Great Calamity for a hundred years without any sort of help. And I'm just coming in to clean up a little bit of the mess that I left from not being able to do my job. Well, her also not being able to do her job, but you get the idea. This opening gets me every time. It is such a perfect opening to the game. Really, it is. I guess I should point out, this is sort of a challenge run. I'm going to be doing my best to not die at all while doing it. I mean, technically speaking, I suppose I won't mind if I do die and just try keeping on playing because this is supposed to be a temporary startup, see what I can do sort of thing. But just know that I do not want to die, despite what I said in the cave earlier. Oh, nice. Power leak elixirs are always good. Yes, I know game. You know, it would have been a little bit funny if one of those mushrooms had been shaped like Toad. I'm just saying.
Imagine if you actually grabbed something in real life that you didn't know about and you were just frozen in time until you said okay. I don't know if that'd be terrifying or somewhat helpful. How would it be helpful? Uh, beats me. Look, I you I know that you know who I am, but you don't have to just ask am I a bit chilly. Just because I haven't put on the pants yet. The pants I won't even use, actually, because I know that there's better ones over there. It's a secret to everyone. Okay, fine, I'll be nice. Where are we? <laughs> so I I don't think I ever actually talked to him without the clothes on. <laughs> I never realized that he asked if I was chilly or not. Ah, uh, yes. The Temple of Time. Truly a magnificent wonder. Apple. Apple. I was just about to jump off, Zelda. I will. Just, just give me time. I got one more joke to crack about the Temple of Time, and I'm good. You're probably one of only about a hundred I'm actually going to find. And no, this is not the Master Sword. I almost wish it was too. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, just finding a rusty old broadsword just out in the middle of nowhere, grabbing it, and then taking it to the great Deku tree, and it's like, oh hey, you already have the Master Sword. It would almost fit with the theme of the game. I do find it kind of funny, though. It's like, is this supposed to be the Master Sword? Can you imagine some kid just, like, picking this game up for the first time and thinking that? It's like, is this really the Master Sword? It's broken now? What am I supposed to do? Maybe a little funny. Actually, I might be able to deal with you. Hang on. Oh, yeah, I can sneak attack you a few times. And that is how I'm going to be able to do pretty much anything that deals with any sort of monster early on in the game. Because, my goodness... Master mode really does up the ante on it, doesn't it? Uh, yep, this is the place. <laughs> Guys, I really don't think this is the Temple of Time. <sighs> Fine. But just know... I've got my eye on you. But of course, it really wouldn't be a Zelda game if you couldn't just break pods for no reason. It truly is the pinnacle of Zelda. Oh, right, I have absolutely no stamina. <laughs> well, I almost died there. That would have been a short game. I mean, let's be honest. You know that some people immediately jumped off. Yeah. You know that some people immediately accidentally walked off that cliff right there. And the reason why I know it is because I know a few people who did. <laughs> is it Bokoblin or, Bo or Bokoblin? Never really knew. How shall we deal with you? You mind! I would rather not have been killed by you. Thank you. See? We already got better pants. And now we can put them on. See? Doesn't that look so much better already? There's no such thing as Link. The hero died a long time ago. It's Betty Bye. I said it's Betty Bye. Third time's charm. You know, these kind of look like they might be like Brussels sprouts, which immediately makes me think that I'll probably like them. It also probably means a lot of people won't, for some reason. It's not had it cooked well. And there goes the butterfly. You know what the sad thing is? Those are set up in such a way that they would actually kill the red bulk of blends. But it does absolutely nothing to, to the blue ones. Oh, hi, I forgot you were there as well. You do not see me. I am taking a wide turn around. You 
do not see me, and you do not hear me. It is baby by time for you as well. Hi, Kiva! Hi, Kiva! Hi, Kiva! Fine. <laughs> shield now. You know, in retrospect, it is kind of funny that they made the Sheikah Slate just very similar to the Switch in general, but can you imagine if they did that in a different game? Like, what if they tried to do that in Skyward Sword? I feel like it just wouldn't have worked. Or they tried to force the Wii mode on us somehow in uh, Twilight Princess. Like, what if the mystical McGuffin in that one was just like a stick that was like a magic wand? <laughs> The Wand of Gamelon, perhaps. <laughs> we do not speak of that. The CDI was never canon. It never will be. Well, at least we're not going to get infinited by Pikachu or anything on this game. The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. See. She's containing all of that by herself, and has been containing it for the past 100 years. And ultimately, she is the one who disperses it now at the then. end of the game after you get her out. You must hurry, Link. That's why I think she's the true hero. Before it's too late. Or the very, I guess, technically true heroine. I know I said I'm going. I would prefer not to die, and yet here I am taking the fast way. Well, not the fast, fast way. I don't know how to do the uh, momentum cancel glitch. Oh. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? He's gonna keep yapping. I wonder how many people will get that reference. I mean, considering this is the very first video I'm ever making. At the time of this, I will have zero subscribers, and therefore zero viewers, so I mean... If you miss 100 of the shots you don't make, then it, do people get 100% of the references that you make? If there's nobody watching it? So, you can brew stamina potions, right? Can you climb down there? I actually am a little bit curious. Because there are the fleet-footed frogs. No. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to figure something else out. For oh, hi there again. I'm going to ignore you for now. There is a way around without getting the attention of a single one. I'm just wondering if I can do it. Oh, that's speed boost attack. There are, no, but there are the crickets around here. So we're going to give as wide of a berth as possible to you. Just to be safe. I wonder if we can get through this entire thing without alerting a single, oh, well. Wait, I just landed down. <laughs> you can't say it's a big drop if you can show me landing down there. Wait a second. You cheater, Nintendo! I can see the ground down there. That does make me think that there is just a death plane down there until you get the paraglider. Which is a shame, because I think it'd be awesome if you could just, like, completely ignore it. Is it possible to beat the game without a paraglider? Oh, I almost did it again. Seriously, the drop's not that far. And I get its stamina potion, and I'm going to test it. And if for some reason it works, Nintendo's got a lot of explaining to do. And don't get me wrong, this game is still absolutely fantastic. I wanted to go to this one first, old man. But he's still going to follow me. Don't get me wrong. Don't you forget it. He's still going to have followed me. There, see, we actually get the first rune that's meant to be on there. Got it. It's not 
my first rodeo. And we'll go ahead and eat a little bit. Because I get the feeling that my tests will not quite go as planned. Death perception there, bud. Whoop! Oh, come on. Why did I heal up? The monk is going to heal me right after I get the spirit orb. If you haven't, if you can't tell, this is going to be a very casual playthrough of this. I don't know any of the unique, any of the special tricks or anything. I don't know all the, like, the, the skips. I'm just going to be doing things my way. Yep. Whoops. <laughs> Even if that way is less than ideal. Yay! <laughs> Look, I'm not necessarily a fan of Yeet, but the sound effect, which I definitely did not just add in there. <sighs> He's just too funny, man. If you haven't noticed, I'm not really editing all that much in this. And if you're wondering why, simple. I have no idea what I'm doing. I am not going back. I have bigger fish to fry. See, this is one of the joys of Master Mode. When you've already played it once before, you know, you're exploring around, you're like, okay, you sort of pick on, up on a few things, on it not quite being the same, you know, the enemies are tougher, they heal if you don't hit them after a while, but otherwise, it seems pretty much the same, right? And then you see that, and you're absolutely terrified. Because you know, you know full well that you're not equipped to be able to take that on with a rusty broadsword, Traveler's Claymore, and Traveler's Sword. And yet, there it is on the plateau regardless. And then you realize, oh, so that's what they're throwing at us. <laughs> All right, bees. Whoops. Whoops. You're a pyro, everybody. Cannot hit. Oh, come on! That went straight through it. Alright, you know what? No, we have more important things to do. Like getting the best shield in the game. Alright, I will test my hypothesis. But I'm pretty sure that they have a failsafe, and that and that fog will kill me, regardless of the fact that I'm climbing down safely. Don't ask. All right. So, in all technicality, I should have a decent amount of stamina to be able to climb down this. Not a ton, mind, but enough. And, and the fact that I can see the ground down there should be proof enough of that. Why do I get the feeling this is just going to be a death plane? Oh, come on! I was climbing down, I didn't hit B. That just, he just auto-ejected. I did not hit B. They really did just make it so that we couldn't just climb down, didn't they? Funny thing is, I think dropping at this height wouldn't even hurt all that much. Like, ga like game-wise, I feel like this would only be like a heart, maybe two. But it d it auto-removes you from the wall. Darn it, Nintendo. 
<sighs> Fine, I'll teleport to the tower. Yeah, yeah. What the? I think I almost fell off just because I hit the corner of it. Well. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that I have that will keep me from dying. to thank the Academy for the uh, shortest Let's Play ever. <laughs> and that will forever be a stain on this playthrough. <sighs> oh well. All that because I wanted to try and give the old man his favorite dish. Can I at least get a little bit of credit for that, like, pr frame perfect pause? Like, there's no way I could have timed that any closer to the ground. Fish. One thing that I do kind of wish that this game did a little bit better was the food mechanic. I feel like should have a little bit more substance to it. Namely, I feel like you should be able to save recipes so that you can find them later rather than having to cook something and then remember what it is, or just hold up onto it in your inventory forever. And I am not going to be able to... Uh, um, I don't know why they didn't headshot first time, but okay. These brick things... are not really movable with just a stone spear. But, er, <laughs> stone spear. With a metal spear. I really can't talk, can I? This metal spear cannot do anything. But if I hold it up to it and then walk into it with Link, suddenly it does move. Like magic. And I could also crush myself. So yeah, that's the magnesium switch. Did that. Really? Okay, look, just because I already died and the run in that respect is over, doesn't mean that I want to die again. There we go. Gonna practice in a little bit more, and bada boom. There we go. <laughs> I just realized if I don't use a different voice software, then I'm not gonna be able to separate the audio from the game the game audio from the mic audio. Huh. Hey, I'll look into that. Uh, it hurts. It hurts so much. And yes, I am going all the way back just to get the cold gear. I know there are other ways of doing it. But I literally died trying to get it. I might as well get it. Oh, what I want to get from Majora's Mask right now. I mean, in this game. Specifically. If it were in any other game, uh, <laughs> Might not be the best idea to wish for that. Spicy pepper seafood. That better be what you want, because I'm not going back for more fish. I cooked something. Oh, I literally got it first time. I actually didn't look at your diary. 
Oh, you need regular meat, not fish. I died to get you that fish, and that's how you repay me? For fish! You know what? Maybe I will just restart this run just for that. Okay, so question. Can I make that jump? Because I have the stamina potions to be able to climb back up again. Question is, how far down is the auto drop? Well, one way to find out. Yeah! Apparently not far enough. Can I jump off it off the top of a tree? Wow, you have no momentum moving forward after a jump. I mean, if we're going by real life rules, I already died like several times over. But if we're also going by real life rules, I wouldn't have been dumb enough to fall off of a tower. Yes, I am impatient. Yes, it has gotten me up here. Yes, it has already gotten me killed once in this run. I'm starting to see why people just don't show all that much while playing games because honestly I'm playing a lot of this and I foresee me cutting a lot of it down like a lot and it's gonna really make it sound like I'm talking a lot but really in reality I'm playing about two hours worth and not actually speaking during all of it oh hey actually I'm getting it in order I didn't mean to do that but hey, more you know. See, if I wanted to edit anything, I would probably make a JoJo's reference there, even though I've never watched it. And yes, I realize that is the butt of almost every single joke at this point. And just in general. Yes, this is a real ocarina. No, I'm not entirely sure why I have it. Yes, I do know how to play a few things on it. No, not all of them are Zelda related. Yes, the repertoire is still very, very small. I have one spicy pepper seafood thingamajig. Because I got the wrong animal and I died because I was trying to go get it and be hasty. His arms looked really red there for a second. Like, it's not just me, right? I mean, part of it probably is, like, the chill. Like, he gets rosy cheeks when he's in the cold, but... Like, it's not just me. They look a little bit redder than usual. Or at the very least, pinker. Shoot you down. I'm not gonna lie, I actually thought I was going to miss that. But hey, I'll, no, 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 don't freeze, don't freeze, don't freeze, don't freeze. <sighs> For a frozen birth diet, it would have been absolutely worthless. The old man is up here. <laughs> laughing at me for not having a warm doublet. I mean, if he gave it to me up here, that'd be one thing, but he doesn't. He just laughs at me. It really is, though. Oh, so that's the other way you can get it. What do you know? He really is right, though. One thing they did absolutely great in this game is just... Oh, the landscape. One thing is absolutely certain. This game, and pretty much only this game for me so far, and I will admit I have very low repertoire, but this game is one of the few games that I actually wanted to just get to the top of a mountain and watch the sunrise. Like, it was just that beautiful, and, you know, some games just need to be like that sometimes. 
Also, one of the strongest horses is all the way down there. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't mean to die there either. I guess this isn't going to be a no-death run any anyways. <laughs> Even if we don't count the fish fiasco. I did forget how much fun shield sledding was. I thought they reveal a lot of things later on in the game. Did those just spawn up there? Did I just watch them appear? Hey man, I just want the steak. Ow. A.K.A. the replacement to swimming. I mean, seriously, you just create a whole bunch of pillars and jump across them if you want to get across most bodies of water. You might even be able to make it to Eventide by using Cryonis. And I'm only... And I really don't think I'm even kidding about that. I need to remember that if I'm going to even tide, I just need to use crayon as the entire way. We need a highlighted shield, but you got it. Perfectly good pot lane. Again, I'm only partially joking. I do wish that the pot lid and the ladle gave Link like the ability to modify what he cooks or give him like a greater chance of great successes. Wait, do they actually do that? All right, let me travel to the Temple of Time. It didn't work. Oh, wow, that, uh... Goes me faster than I thought it would. <laughs> okay, yeah, now this really isn't a no death run. I know how to deal with ice. I say as I immediately jump back into the freezing water again. Hero of Hyrule, everybody. You know what? I'm playing it safe. Ironically enough, after my third death, but you know. Safe. Fish! The pots fight back. very annoyed that in the expansions they don't give enough to max out both heart containers and stamina vessels. Would it really have been that hard to just add enough to do that one little thing? Probably won't include I this. The last leader of Hyrule. But I will watch it myself. Because no honestly, the voice acting in this isn't half bad. It's better than I can say of other things. That at the, at the very least, the very first games that did it. The Final great Fantasy calamity X. was Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. I guess you could say that's when calamity struck. Yes, I'm keeping that joke in. I guess it would be fair to say that Zelda is the only hero in this. Link and Zelda do have like a perfect tag team in this. They're the both needed to defeat Ganon. And they both are just as important. It's just that Lynx is a little bit more fun to play than, you know, her right up to being stuck end. in a castle for a hundred years. Here you now stand, revitalized one hundred years later. And in spiffing condition, I might add. Hearing... That being said, I do want to make one quick stop before... 
doing that. There you are. It's strangely ominous how all the horses are just surrounding it. Oh, come on, I healed up. I. I could do it. Now the only problem is I don't technically have the rupees for this. But I do have a few things I can sell, so that should be enough to give me the saddle. And yeah, this is why most people probably wouldn't say that this one is worth it. Because you can't make it go faster. And you can't put on any of the saddles for it. Including the one that lets it warp straight to you. So why did I do this? That's a good question. On the bright side, though, you can do this. So, I mean, you can trample your prey instead of hunting it. Ah, that doesn't quite seem like right. What will I call this guy? You know what, here, if I get a single comment on this video, I will name the horse after that person, or whatever that person suggests. Oh dear. Let's go around this way. But of course, you do realize that this must happen within like the first, like, video ever to come out. I'm not gonna come back to this 12 years later and rename the horse. <laughs> okay, I guess that is one other bet. No, no, stop attacking my horse! They can't catch me. Well, there's some nice little horses, too. I mean, let's be real. The only other one that people would really want is the uh, pure white one. Which is somewhere else. Did he just one shot me? Well, yeah, completely forget about what I said about doing the no death challenge because that. That was BS. Uh, this horse can take more hits than I can. is the sign of a true good game. Okay. <laughs> I guess this horse has also got sneak level 100. Why didn't those birds start flying away? You know what? This seems like a decent place to end it. 